May the encounter of tonight spark off a new dawn in everyone's life. Yeah. Overcoming your worst unnoticed enemy. The Lord gave me this message for you because He wants to launch you into that realm of more than a conqueror. Overcoming your worst unnoticed enemy. You don't hear the sound of a serpent on a rock, it glides. The serpent is the most subtle of all the beasts that the Lord God created. He glides into people's lives to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He has one seemingly unnoticed weapon he engages to do that. It's called the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear. I'd like to please listen. Granted many lives and destroy a great future. Fear is an enemy. We take for our text Job chapter 3, verse 24 to 26. As the word is going forth, the spirit of fear is leaving you. Yeah. Jesus was casting out evil spirits with his word. Matthew 8 16. As the word is going forth, and you receiving with your heart. The spirit of fear is losing its grip of your life. Yeah. Job chapter 3, verse 24 to 26. For my sign cometh before I eat, and my roarings are poured out like the waters. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid is come unto me. I was not in safety. Neither had I rest, neither was I quiet, yet trouble came. Yet trouble came. <laughs> there are no diagnostic things that I can help you identify that. <laughs> yet trouble came. Now, Job chapter 1 and verse 15. And that all the way to 19, you see the kind of troubles that came upon you. And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain thy servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Trouble just started. His sons were killed. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, the fire of God is falling from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped a lot of death. Catalogs of woes, the things I really feared, is come upon me. Yeah. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made our three bands and fell upon the camels. And have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone am escaped to tell thee. And why was he speaking? 
catalog of troubles. <laughs> Triggered by fear. Fear brought all the woes. He said it. He confessed it. He was under the oppression of the spirit of fear. And trouble after trouble, devastation after devastation. Now, hear what he said in Job chapter 2 verse 4. This is what Satan said. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, oh, yea, all that a man has will they give for his life. By subscribing to fear, you will stand to lose everything, including eternity. Including eternity. Then went Satan forth and smote Job with boys. Now he's been hitting everything around him that was hitting him. Chapter 2, verse 4. How devastating is the spirit of fear? Listen. Number one, the spirit of fear is the spirit of bandage. Romans 8 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bandage again to fear. Bandage connotes captivity, it connotes imprisonment. Being held on the same spot. Gasping for breath. Struggling for survival. It's the spirit of the devil. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of, of, of a sound mind. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Number 2, the spirit of fear. The spirit of torment. Torment includes depression. First John chapter 4 and verse 18. There is no fear in love. No perfect love casts out fear. Because fear has torment. Fear torments its victims. Fear torments its victims. That's how much an enemy fear is. And it comes in mostly unnoticed. You just think that circumstances, you know, the country is so wonderful, the economy is so wonderful. <laughs> and then it keeps injecting those things into you to rob you of God's best for your life. He's lost out tonight. He has lost out tonight. The spirit of fear is the spirit of sickness. Then went Satan forth and smote Job with boils. Chapter 2, verse 18. Satan was behind all the plagues on the head of Job. Satan was the man behind it. And he's still tormenting many today with sickness. Jesus came and went about doing good and healing all them that were oppressed of the devil, afflicted with sickness by the devil. Every affliction of sickness that came through the sweets of fear tonight, and whatever way it came, must lose its grip of your life. <laughs> I saw an array of men weeping, groaning, agonizing, wailing. In that vision, and the Lord said to me, but from the beginning it was not so. I said, but why, Lord? Said, and now the hour has come to liberate the world from all the oppressions of the devil. 
through the preaching of the word of faith, and I'm sending you to, to undertake this task. Everything that makes you weep behind closed doors is sorted here tonight. Everything you are going through, you can't tell anybody else. Tonight, God is sorting you out. The spirit of fear is the spirit of destruction and death. And we saw that catalog in chapter 1 of Job and verse 15 to 19. It's the spirit of destruction and death. Destruction and death. Destruction and death. <laughs> Most accidents claim lives through fear. Hey, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Ah, I said, this is how it's going. <laughs> he lifts his hand all this journey. I'm, I'm finished. That's how devastating the spirit of fear can be. But tonight is your night of liberty. No one's position can change with the spirit of fear at work. How dare you approach the Red Sea with fear? <laughs> but through faith, the sea saw them, it fled. That's the only part of their promised land. But fear will have stopped them from getting there. But through faith, through faith, they went through this Red Sea as on a dry land. Now, now, they would have asked, how are we going to eat? Mm. If God said, go, we are going. And he gave them food, supplied them food, twice a day for 40 years. 40 years. How are we going to get water to drink? He made a rock to be following them. He's doing fought water for them. Three million people. No short supply. 40 years. Those are the things people of fear will have robbed them of. Many great destinies have been sold off to fear. Many, many. A lot of rash decisions because of fear. Some have fled this country from Frepan to fire. They didn't even know where they were going, but they left. Fear drove them out of their inheritance without knowing. Some sold their businesses and became cheap labor. For fear. For fear. For fear. There are many things you have read from God so you can't move. Fear won't let you. Until fear leaves, victory is not in view. Until fear gives way, the future is dim. We are in the days of great fear across the nations, not just our nation. Luke 21, 25 to 28. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves running, 
men's hearts, failing them for fear and for looking after those, these things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. Now it will precede the coming of the Lord. <laughs> heart, the heart of men, failing them for fear. <laughs> What's going on here? So we are in the days of great fears upon the earth. You better get to understand the kill so you can be free. Verse 11 of the same Luke 21. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights. <laughs> fearful sights, even to behold it. Jesus said, when the son of man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? It's so important to know the times we are in and to get ready to overcome this unnoticed, devastating enemy called the spirit of fear. So fearful, O oh ye of little faith. The cure to fear is faith. These most fearful days will require great faith to ride the storms. Little faith can't ride the storms when the waves go wrong. Matthew 8 and verse 26. Again, he said, Why are you so fearful? I said, You have no faith. Don't you care we perish? People perish by the torture of fear. Now we can liken faith to light and fear to darkness. When faith steps in, fear steps out. Faith is the covenant cure for the torments, the torture, the afflictions of fear. Everybody is a victim of what he fears. Everybody. I command the hold of spirit of fear broken from off every life yeah. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In these glorious times, it shall be to each one according to his faith. What am I talking about? Commit to building your faith against the stormy days. Commit to building your faith against the stormy days. Commit to building your faith against the stormy days. When faith comes alive, believers enter into their rest and they cease from their struggles. Nothing silences the spirit of fear like faith actively at work in a man's life. The fear of tomorrow is the loss of tomorrow. The tomorrow you, have, you fear, you have lost it. <laughs> but faith is the substance of things expected. 
the evidence and confidence of things not seen. Abraham staggered by the grace so of God's own belief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. But faith does not drop on people's laps. Faith comes by hearing and understanding the word. Understanding that what did that? He said, how oh, can I? And when understanding came, faith came alive. So spiritual understanding is the bad place of faith. That's the production factory of faith. Spiritual understanding of the truth is what triggers faith in a believer's life. Spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding. When the understanding of God's plan for prosperity came to me, I've not played one game in my life to assess financial blessing. A dime of your church money is not in my pocket. I was living the reality of a highly prosperous future. I haven't discovered it and commit to what he says makes it happen. Never see that expecting a change. Engage the terms of the covenant of life as contained in scriptures, and then your change will keep coming. The good news is, it's your turn. <laughs> Please understand, it's not hearing the word that steers faith, but understanding, which understanding what you hear, what you read, what you study. It's what's the aspect. While asking God to show me the secret of kingdom prosperity, I took Kenny Copeland's book and Gloria's book, his wife. Uh, now, I've read <laughs> those books four times, but I've not found what I'm looking for. Any student you see that relies only on the lectures from lecture room is going to be a poor student. It's a commitment to search based on what you have heard <laughs> to boost your understanding of the subject. So you can have a wonderful grade. People come to church and just take notes and close it and walk away. And walk away. It's time to work at the change you desire. 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 Your faith won't grow because Papa pray for you. No. Even the majority of the spirit of faith requires the word to stay alive. Faith feeds on the word. Faith feeds on the word. Faith feeds on the word. Faith feeds on the world. So all this guy's psychedelic faith, people just roaming around, I believe God, I believe God. He has not read one book on faith in his life. One. One book. Some have never read one chapter of the Bible in their life. One chapter. I think <laughs> I just believe God. For what? <laughs> on what basis? On what basis? So I can tell how we got to where we are, step by step, which word triggered it. Which word triggered it. We are, we are where we are by grace, but grace multiplied by knowledge. Grace multiplies by knowledge. Grace multiplies 
by knowledge. Grace multiplies by knowledge. Grace multiplies by knowledge. Grace multiplies by knowledge. It's time to sit up and build your faith because days of great fear are here. The stress of nations will be, keep multiplying. Very surely there will be no nation to run into. They'll be checking people out of their various nations. We have enough trouble here. We don't need any more harm. We don't need any more people here. Go back to your place. There'll be nowhere to return to but God. And it takes faith to get at God. The evidence of faith at work is rest. What do I call it? Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 3. For we which have believed do enter into rest. The evidence of real faith is rest in areas that pose unrest to many. You are at rest. Awesome God. Now he said, This is how to get here. Let us therefore labor. Now go to verse 10 or verse 11, please. Verse 11 of the same chapter 4. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Let's labor in the world to build our faith so we can enter into rest. You labor in the world to build your faith so you can enter into rest. In 1 Timothy 5 17, he said, Can them of double honor, those who are elders among you, particularly those who labor in world and in doctrine, they labor. They are not laboring to preach, they are laboring to build. So they share out of their treasure with others. We came out with two volumes recently, treasures from my archives. They are notes from my diaries over the years. That's what I call the lion's feet. Nothing great happens by chance. No one prevails by chance. You need to be equipped for the battle. And the word of God is the sword of the spirit. It begets faith, which is the shield that was of all satanic onslaught. Start satanic attacks. Above all, taking the shield of faith, and you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Your faith has unlimited capacity for growth. So keep building it. Keep building it. Second, Second Thessalonians chapter 1, number 3. The word says, We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is made, because that your faith groweth exceedingly. Your faith groweth exceedingly. Exceedingly. Where is he grown into? To the fullness of the stature of Christ. <laughs> what does that mean? Which so our beliefs in me was that I should, that shall he do also. And greater was than this shall he do. 
So it shall be said of men and women of faith at the same time. What manner of men are these? What manner of woman is this? What manner of man is this? <laughs> there shall be days of strange works and strange acts. The strange works and the strange acts, not a bracadabra. They are scripturally explainable. Amen. This commission has subdued, despised, and overthrew the siege of fear at every point to get to where we are by grace. Build your faith is the only way to subdue fear. Build your faith is the only way to clear the hold of fear of your life. Your tomorrow is great. Yeah. 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 For anyone under any form of sickness or disease, stop thinking death. Stop thinking life. For as a man thinks in his heart, you can't think death and live. And you can't think life and die. So, that terminal disease is caused from the root. Would you like to say with me, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. I shall not die, but live. <laughs> that individual carrying in a stage four cancer. I'm saying to you by the word of the Lord that the root of that plague is caused. That liver challenge is restored. Psalm 118 and verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. Now, Jesus lives in you by the mercy of redemption. And he said, because I live, you shall live us. How many people have Jesus in them here? He's saying from your inside, because I live, you shall live us. <laughs> Can I have you say with me, Jesus? Jesus. Because you live, because I shall live us. Somebody said, do you understand what I'm talking about? I, I think I do. <laughs> there was this individual, they brought the picture to me in Calabar one of those days and could not be moved from the hospital. Our case was at the tail end of it. Lay hands on that picture, breathe on it. Tuesday came, that was a Sunday night. They couldn't find the cancer anymore. You are here live today. Every evil seed planted inside anyone that is threatening your life is cursed tonight. Now what? Lazarus was dead and stinking. Can you hear what Jesus said? If you will believe, you see the glory of God. That's to tell you how powerful faith is. That it can recover a four-day-old dead back to life. That was already thinking, decomposing. You are the one they told that you are going to die. You had it, not that somebody told you that you are in a coma. You had it. And you are the one living like this. Amen. Somebody was dead. Jesus said, faith is the answer. 
Faith is the answer. If you believe you see the glory of God, faith is the answer. No matter how deteriorating that situation is, tonight, as you put out your faith in God and the integrity of His world, and His servant has sent to minister to you, your case is settled. I said, Your case is settled. Your case is settled. Every plague of stroke is restored right now. Paralysis is here right now. Deaf ears here right now. Blind eyes see right now. Now listen. Just like fear torments life, faith torments fear. Faith torments fear. I remember the sage of old memory, I mean, uh, of blessed memory, T.L. Osborne. He came to Canaan land before we moved in, uh, August of um, 1999. And he said to me, David, how people get here? I said, they're already here. <laughs> we have not moved. He said, they're already here. He said, praise God, praise God. <laughs> they're already here. Faith works in the reality of your sin. Hallelujah. Faith operates what? In the reality of your sin. Faith called those things that be not as though they were. Faith called those things that be not as though they were. <laughs> the good news for anyone who came here sick is that you are now well. Yeah. He said, You are now well. Yeah. He said, Believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe also his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. Mm. It's your night. Yeah. It's your night. Yeah. It's your night. Yeah. I caused the fear of survival. Yeah. You are not redeemed to survive, you are redeemed to be a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> And I decree supernatural turnaround yeah. within this harvest season yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Supernatural turnaround yeah. within this harvest season. Yeah. Some job seekers here will turn to employers of labor yeah. in the course of this year. Yeah. In the course of this year. Yeah. In the course of this year, in the course of this year, in the course of this year, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Now, listen to this. Those three Hebrew boys trusted in their God. The fiery furnace had no power on them. They came out of fire without a smell of fire on them. My God, their heart was there. Their camp garments were there. Their sandals were there. Came out of the fiery furnace because they trusted in. That's how faith torments fear. We are not careful to answer you in this matter. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us, and He will deliver us. When you're working on the basis of scriptures, you have committed God. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Now, here is the question before we close. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 19. Second Timothy 1 is the first Timothy. The first Timothy 1, 19. Holding faith and a good conscience, which some have disregarded concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Faith requires good conscience for delivery. Faith requires what? Good conscience for delivery. Good conscience. Good conscience. They, the sorrow of them shall be multiplied, they are hasting after another God, 
Don't say you believe God when you are running around with another God. It's fake. It will never work. It will never deliver. That is the undoing of many people in this part of the world. They believe God in the morning, they go to another person in the night. <laughs> Sir, February 19 this year will make it 55 years that I met Jesus. I have never checked on another God once. It has never crossed my mind once. Jesus has been more than enough all these years. All He's been more than enough all these years for me. Satan has no part in me. No, we have no relationship. <laughs> We're in different worlds together. You better check it. Faith will be truncated without a good conscience. You cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one and despise the other. You cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, um, verse 24. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot. We have these foreign kinds of gods in scriptures. One, idols. Praise God. You can call them the gods of Egypt. Praise God. And then the god of gold. Anything, by all means, I must get money. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're running a most dangerous risk. The love of money is the root of all evils. With some coveted after appears themselves through with many sorrows. And are falling to many foolish and diverse laws that draw men to foolishness, to destruction and perdition. Oh, that man of God, flee these things, my friend. <laughs> You've been in this church now, many of us for years. And uh, when did you see us pray, oh God, send us money? <laughs> money, money. <laughs> we are running the greatest project of our life as a ministry now in Lagos. Some people in the church didn't know the project is going on. Some don't know because it's a finished service, everybody is driving back. It's the cheapest, sir. It's the, cheap, it's the cheapest we have ever had. The cheapest. Without any private consultation with anybody. My God. It's foolishness to be chasing after a bird that is flying. Riches have wings. So I have seen money. Oh. And I've never sat down looking for it once. I've never knocked on anybody's door in my life. I mean, this is today for the three years. Can you help? Wake up. Walk in the covenant with pure conscience. Walk in the covenant with pure conscience. Walk in the covenant with pure conscience. The third one is self-worship. Self-worship, I call it pride. By virtue of my skill, my expertise, actually in the, in the whole of Africa. Um, I don't have, actually have a second. I don't have a second in the whole of Africa. <laughs> I mean, because I, I have certification in 350 areas in my field. The next one I knew had only 100. So I'm the top of the range. Clap for me. <laughs> well, you know, Nebuchadnezzar killed himself. Nobody was there. He said, this great kingdom which I've built. Worship me. <laughs> he said, today you become an animal. Self-worship. He wrote me an oration and they shouted, the voice of a man and not a, uh, the voice of a God and not of a man. 
and Nigel went forth and smote him, and worms ate him up on his seed. Thou shalt not have any other God beside me. Or your generations will pay for it, the thought of the fourth generation. Let go the conscience of idols and come back to God in full force. If your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. If your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. If your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Those are the enemies of faith. Those are the enemies that render your faith helpless, ineffective. Beware. Beware of idols. Beware of the God of gold. Beware of pride. Beware of self-worship. Pride. Pride. I've seen people go up and crash. It takes God to go up. It takes meekness to stay up. I said, it takes God to go up, but it takes meekness to stay up. It takes God to go up, it takes meekness to stay up. It takes God to go up, but it takes meekness to stay up. It takes God to go up, but it takes meekness to stay up. All the giants and privileged and connected to by God, they finished strong. There was no setback in their journey. They were ascending from glory to glory till they went to heaven. My God. So in the name of Jesus, your following after God will not become history. You will follow him to the end. He will decorate you beyond measure. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So tonight is your night. By this visitation, God has come to change your position. God has come to bring you out of the dungeon of darkness into his kingdom of light. He has come to destroy the fears in your life and connect you to the faith that works. And so shall it be. Anyone called barren here, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in this year of fortune, your awaited children are here. Yeah. Now my daughter said it was half of the month already. And they said you'll be confirmed pregnant this month. And within the two weeks, she was confirmed pregnant. Your faith tonight will provoke testimony tomorrow. Yeah. Lift up your right hand to heaven and give God thanks. Everybody. Give him thanks from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you cannot declare boldly, you have not believed truly. Everything you believe truly, you will declare boldly. Whatever you, don't, you can't declare boldly, God cannot confirm openly. So, evidence of faith, rest, and bold declarations. That does not jitter in the face of people. Their look does not bother you. They're just there. And as we begin to make bold declarations, God begins to confirm with signs, wonders, and diverse miracles. Acts 14 and verse 3. 
They are both there two years, speaking boldly in the law. We give witness to the word of his grace and confirm um, <laughs> and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hand. Bold declarations, open confirmations. Bold declarations. If anybody asks you tonight, <laughs> after this service or tomorrow or this week or next week, how far God has done it? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> how far with your job? <laughs> how far with the children you're expecting? <laughs> how far with your marital settlement? <laughs> How far with this with your business? How far with your family situation? How far with your children? Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Whatever you don't despise, you cannot dominate. David had to despise Goliath to subdue him. <laughs> He said, you empty barrel. God who gave me the lion and the beer will give it to me tonight. And I'll bring down your head for the first of the year. So I tell you the truth. Amen. <laughs> he despised God. I have to bring him down. You have to despise your fear to subdue it. Amen. Amen. You have to. Can I ask you to do something? Now look at your church. If this church kept on triumphing, in spite of all the economic hazards that has visited this nation till now, and has never known a backward trend, you have a future. Yeah. I said 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 you have a future. Yeah. You have a future. Yeah. If this church is not begging, if this church is not borrowing, yeah. uh -uh. the economy cannot determine your destiny. <laughs> My redemption of access to its riches in glory. Where the economy never fails. Where the economy never fails. Just package yourself in the covenant and watch God decorate your life. Pack, package yourself in the covenant. Seeking first the kingdom of God. He keeps adding to you all these things that others are dying to get. Package yourself well. Can I tell you this is also help you? There is no man living or dead that this Commission will say, if not for this man, will not be here. There is not one, sir. That including myself. If I go to heaven today, he won't stop doing what he's doing. He's the one doing it before I came. Come on now. <laughs> you better wake up and stop seeking shortcut and connect to God. No matter where any man runs to without God or vanity. Without me, you can do nothing. So connect with Jesus. Let him lead your path. Let him direct your steps. You will keep smiling at the storm. You keep smiling at the storm. You keep smiling at the storm. You keep smiling at the storm. It's your year. The fear that makes people make terrible decisions that lead them to realms of regret, you will not make it. on clean business. Stay off. Stay off. We had a testimony in church recently. There was this young man. He was into this fraudulent business. And Jesus touched him. He got saved. And he told him some wonderful things. He said, all the people that borrow money from you, don't take it from them because it's dangerous money. It's not your money. <laughs> Let them go with it. He said, the house will be to the fraudulent business. It's not your house. Ah, God. He said, but I, I, my heart for God won't let me hold it. And after that, God gave him a clean business idea. Where he earns in dollars. The same fraudster, God changed his story when he obeyed him. You can't be on two sides at the same time. You cannot be on two sides at the same time. You cannot be on two sides at the same time. You cannot be on two sides if God be God, serve him. Yes. Abba, how long will you hold between two opinions? It's the blessing of God that makes it and no sorrow. There is no fraud star who is at rest. If Elisa moves, 
<laughs> Maybe BFCC have come for him. But when God blesses, he has no sorrow to him. When God blesses, he has no sorrow to him. He has no sorrow to him. He has no sorrow to him. The days of pressures and struggles are over in your life. They 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 are over in your life. As you let go, whatever God hates, it keeps moving you forward in life. Don't hang around what God detests. So he will not reject you. Don't hang around. He said, you have rejected the word of the Lord, therefore he has rejected you. Allow God to, to rule your life, and you'll be at peace all your life. The good news is, between now and the end of the first half of this year, <laughs> God will make you to laugh. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching to this powerful teaching from God's servant, Bishop David Oyedebo. This message is shared it where he had a apostolic visitation at the Living Faith Church, Chai Apuja. The message, the title to this message is Overcoming Your Worst and Noticed Enemies. I believe this impactful teaching has impacted your life from now henceforth. Every unnoticed enemy shall be silenced in your life forever as you begin to apply these life applicable truths that god's servant has shared you shall start seeing success and victory in your life stay blessed if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please do so also like and comment to this video so that the youtube algorithm can push it far to those who need it stay blessed